gangsters, what's up guys? Yo my people, what's going on, it's Cured here and today we are back with another Zombies video. This time we are playing Cold War. Now, I've dropped a couple of videos in Cold War in the past, but this time it's going to be about the map itself. Um, and we're actually going to do the Easter egg as well, so yeah, obviously just sit back and enjoy. Make sure you leave a like, comment and subscribe if you do enjoy the video as well. So, firstly I want to start off by saying sorry, I didn't drop any videos last week. Uh, well, I dropped the, the main Monday video, uh, but there was no second upload and that's just because I've been ill at the moment. I might sound a little bit funny now. Um, and that's because I'm still not fully recovered, but obviously I, I have to drop a video every Monday minimum So that's why this video is still coming out at first I was gonna go back to advanced warfare um, and play those zombie maps just because I haven't experienced those yet And I played a fuck ton of Cold War But again, I've been ill. I thought let's just play a game that I actually know how to play instead of trying to learn something new when I don't feel too great I mean the, the gameplay isn't the best in this um, but it's better than it would have been if it was Advanced Warfare, I'll be, I'll be real with you. And this only took me um, the one run to do. There was a few weird things happening in this. Um, I forgot my routine. I used to know this Easter egg quite fast actually. I did start speed running it at one point. Um, but it's been so long since I actually have ran it. Especially solo. It's just taking me so fucking long to remember in certain spots. And certain things here where you have to shoot the blue orbs or, for what, or whatever for the mini Easter egg. I mean, the, my shots just weren't hitting, I don't, I don't know if they've buffed the, the gallo or, or what's happened really. I haven't really played Cold War Zombies in a little while, um, but obviously I haven't been playing Vanguard Zombies either. I've just been playing the ones for the series over the time. Cold War is really what got me back into Zombies, I'll be real with you. I, I wasn't really playing Zombies until this game came out. Um, I had a massive break from that. I mean, I'd gone every now and then, but very, very rarely. But this, this literally brought it back. I didn't think I'd even like this as well. I remember when I first got home from work um, and it finally downloaded and I started to play. I hopped into my first game and it's actually on YouTube. I got Wave 53 or something on this map. Um, I got both Wonder Weapons, the Ray Gun and the uh, Die Machine or I can't remember what the... Die Shockwave, sorry. I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. Um, but I did manage to get a higher round instantly in it straight away brought back a spark and making me want to play again so basically what i'm saying is we're going to go through the rest of these maps on cold war weekly um and we're going to go through the easter egg now i've only actually done the first two this one on 5ac myself currently obviously i'm gonna do them all um i'm not 100 percent sure if i'll go through and play the huge map i can't remember what the fuck that's called right now outbreak i don't know if i'm gonna play that I'm, i mean i might i mean there's easter eggs on there so i probably should and then, then we'll go back to Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare and stuff like that and play those games that I actually haven't played the zombie modes in. I mean, mainly because they're terrible. I mean, sometimes I see Infinite Warfare clips and I think, actually it does look quite good, but... I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I didn't think I'd like Black Ops 4 and I did, so I, I could be uh, proven wrong there. So this shot here, I'm glad it's been edited, but that took me a lot of fucking shots to hit. And obviously, it was cut earlier when I was trying to shoot the one... Um, underneath of the window and that's because for some reason I kept missing it after several fucking shots so I'm not sure what happened there but we got there in the fucking end obviously I'm doing this mini easter egg now trying to get the um, die shockwave I, I'm not successful I'll be honest with you there's not really much you can do this little cutscene here though is one of my favourite things in zombies ever it's up there with Forsaken and delivering the pizzas um, to the pizza guy uh, Ronald Reagan that there and this here, definitely my favourite things in Zombies probably ever. These are better than any cutscene I've seen. It's, like, how can they have the coffin meme just chilling there? You, you literally can't go wrong. Cannot go wrong. I really like the camos on this gun as well. And if you're wondering what gallo this is, I'm using the ray gun gallo. Um, but obviously I've got the Dark Aether variant on there as well. So This gun just looks fucking sick. The animation here where he puts the batteries inside the gun. I mean, it was well worth the money. I don't normally buy weapons, um, skins or packs or anything like that on Call of Duty, but when I saw this, I just thought it'd be rude not to. Like, that gun is just fucking beautiful, I'll be real with you. So here we get the bad luck on the box. I mean, like I said, I haven't really been playing a lot of zombies. I've been ill, so when I have been playing Xbox at the moment, it's literally just been Apex, still trying to up my skills on there been trying to run different legends and everything like that so there's definitely a lot more content coming i nearly had the most stupid fucking down there luckily i survived we get through the dog round and fill up the gas 
for later on with the cylinder. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have done this um, Easter egg before. If you've done any Easter egg in the past, let me know what your favourite Easter egg on any Call of Duty is. I'd love to know. Because after we've done the Cold War one, I've been saying for ages now that we're going to go back and start doing Easter eggs. And that's exactly why I've started to do it on Cold War instead of just doing a normal map breakdown like I normally would. I thought, let me give myself an objective so the video isn't isn't as boring as it could be, um, and we'll just keep it keep it short and sweet. Basically, well, I say short, the video is longer than normal, but that's because so much is actually happening. So it's, it shouldn't be a boring video. It should always something be happening on the screen, which is good. Overall, this map, I would say this is my favourite map on Cold War now. I, I think that's going to be argued quite a bit. I don't know. I know high round players love this map because of the technique on the roof. I'm not very good at that technique, I'll be real with you. I haven't tried it many times, just because getting the ray gun on this game winds me up. Obviously, other than Forsaken, where you can do the pizza thing. Um, and I think there's a few more uh, mini Easter eggs on there. I can't really remember, to be honest. I haven't played Cold War Zombies in fucking ages. So I'm sure there is ways to get ray guns on other maps. Um, but on this map, you, you stick to the box to get it, and it's fucking irritating or you can get it in that mini easter egg that we've done previously and that's really what I was hoping for to be honest with you because that would make the boss fight 10 times easier. I do believe they changed the IE shockwave, the, the electric one, that used to be so fucking OP and I remember coming back on this game um, after there was a few updates and when I was going in the boss fight I thought fucking hell this is so much weaker, I don't know what happened. And I know that more of the big green fuckers spawn in as well when you play multiplayer now, which never used to happen. Even solo, actually, if you get to a high enough round, more than one will spawn into a round, and I know for certain. Well, I'm 99% sure, to be honest. But when the game first released, it wasn't doing that, so. And that is the one annoying thing on this map, and the random rounds of fog. I mean, I know a couple of other maps have had that in the past, but that is fucking irritating. There's no other way to put it. So fucking irritating, so. Right now we're going to get the book um, and speak to all the anomalies. Again, a few times I've done this in the past and forgot to press X the second time or whatever, which is quite irritating. We've got a kaboom there at the right time. The locations of this, obviously, at first, I remember watching the first thing thinking I'm never going to remember these three random locations, but obviously it's easy. Like any, like any Easter egg on Call of Duty, after you've done it a few times, the more and more times you do it, the easier and easier it gets. So, just going on to the third one now. I don't, I don't actually remember the name of the thing that we're trying to get um, sorted here. Um, I, oh no, this is for the password for the computer. So after this, we'll put the password in the computer. Um, we'll get the DIE Shockwave. Then we'll upgrade the DIE Shockwave four times. And then we can split the big fuck up and do the boss fight. This Easter egg, and I'll be real. I've done Easter eggs in the past a few times. I don't think I've ever actually completed many. Um... Especially solo, I definitely have. I think I've done the shitty, like, music, music Easter eggs and, yeah, the stuff I've done, the non-end game, um, end game ones. I mean, I've done a, I've done half of Moon back in the day. I think, filling up the pyramid or one of those steps, I can't really remember. I mean, maybe that's not even halfway to me, unless I wouldn't even know at this, at this stage. But we're definitely going to be going through. I don't know if I'm going to be doing them solo yet or with friends. Maybe it'll be a mixture of both. Dropping content at the moment is weird. Obviously, I always, always, always mention my computer's in a shit state at the moment. That is near enough at an end now. Um, very shortly, I will be ordering a new computer. So once that's done, there'll be custom Zombies content, Fortnite content. Apex content, literally you name it, I'll be dropping it. Even maybe graphic design, speed arts and stuff like that. Maybe I'll make a separate channel um, for certain games. I don't know. There's going to be a lot of fucking content now. I'm going to be putting a lot more hours in once we have that new PC because that's literally what's holding me back at the moment. I will drop a fuck ton of Minecraft content. I don't know if I need to get a new channel for that, if you guys would want to see it or not. Um, but that's a game that I put hours in without even fucking realising. Just digging a small stupid hole when there's ten times uh, ten times faster ways to do it, and I never do. So, I mean, I'm trying to learn more. Um, what's it called? Redstone's crafting stuff on there. But yeah, we'll, we'll leave that conversation for another day because I know a lot of you zombie here guys won't even like Minecraft. So we'll move on. We'll move on. This gun, I'm I'm gonna say it again. It's fucking beautiful. I'm gonna make sure that's the thumbnail in this because. It, it literally doesn't get much better than that. That that gun just stands up more than anything. And purple is my favourite colour. So the Dark Aoife. Honestly, great. I think they've changed Dark Aoife over time as well. 
I remember seeing a video where someone showed the changes where there was like more black in certain um, updates and then in other updates it was more purple. I'm not sure if that that was something that was legit or not. Um, but however it looks now is fucking perfect to me to be honest with you. This step here is a fucking pain in the ass. Obviously it's been cut down now by Mox. Um, this step here is always fucking irritating. Every time I was coming out of it, the green fucker would be in front of me and literally just blocking my path. Normally, they're, they're nowhere near me when I'm doing that stage, so that was quite fucking irritating. We are getting more and more towards the end of the Easter egg now. Um, if you are getting, if you are starting to do Easter eggs, I would recommend doing this one. This one is fairly easy. The boss fight can be a bit difficult if you're not used to doing those sort of things, um, but Cold War is definitely a good start, and I'd know because. Some of the older gods are fucking difficult, I'll be real. Fucking hell, yeah. Sorry about that guys, that's a sickness, I'm fucking knackered as well, I haven't been sleeping too well, so. Now we're doing the ball, um, pause, step, I don't fucking know what to call it, I, don't, I literally have no idea. Um, so that needs to go in now, so now we can split the big green fucker. Luckily I've kept him alive now for a few rounds, um, so we can split him really fucking easily and get him, get him into the machine, so. Go and split. First guy's in. And just like that, the second guy's in as well. That is probably the smoothest that has ever gone for me, by the way. If you've done this Easter egg in the past, you'll know that step is a pain in the fucking arse. I also used to love how you could slide out. I think if you go back to one of my older videos, you'll be able to see it. If you um, stand at the right angle at that table and press X and slide out of the door, you could run over here and do the uh, portal instantly, basically. So all these fuckers here would have been chasing you. That's another annoying thing as well. I've gone down so many times there. I've bought weapons off the wall and not realised. Um, and then gone into the boss fight without what you need. So here it nearly went down. Luckily I keep running. But look at my health there. That is on... I'm literally on the ropes. Luckily there's an armour stand in this boss fight. The one annoying thing is, I remember... I'm sure... I don't know if they've changed how ammo drops with them big fuckers, but... When I used to do this, I'm sure I used to get ammo back for the big fucker, but that doesn't seem to happen in this at all. This, I mean, it's not really a cutscene, but this, I don't know, step in the Easter egg, the boss fight, we call it. Excellent, it's fucking great. It is a bit slow sometimes, reacting, and when there's no zombies around it, it was still acting like it's still getting hit. Um, which is quite irritating. Here, I thought I was going to die, I'll be real with you. I mean, my health's quite high at the moment, um, but they got a bit too close to my liking, so yeah, I thought I was on the ropes there. But as you can see here, we'll clear them out. Um, I don't know if he's still doing anything. I don't know if there's time limits on these, and you have to just kill a certain amount of zombies before it works. I literally have no idea how this works. I don't know if you can just keep running around the whole time. W w will it work, or...? I'm, I literally have no idea about it. So yeah, we luckily stay alive. I luckily get to finish this without a down, believe it or not. If you've seen me stream this or anything in the past, I always have the most unlucky downs doing this step. Even though, I mean, especially with this edit, it looks a lot easier than it, <laughs> than it was for me. I remember doing this. I only done this earlier today. This is Sunday. I'm doing the voiceover. Um, I recorded this earlier today and I, I was literally sweating my ass off trying to get this footage. These little portals here are sick as well. You used to be able to um, ether shroud through them. I don't know if that's the technique that the term for it. I actually can't remember what it was, but you used to be able to teleport through that and run through here as well. But I know sometimes that fucks up spawns or everything else. I nearly die here every time, honestly. I don't know what the best, how many zombies, what zombies you kill there. I still not learned that completely. I've nearly died a few times there as well, touching the blue. I know you got Insta down. I've had a few friends do that in the past as well. And for some reason it really felt slow on how long it took for the um, heli to get down here. I've never had this many zombies running around while I'm out here. And I was actually starting to panic a little bit. Lucky you get to loop around and by the time we get back there, the heli's already there waiting for me. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like, comment and subscribe. Hold it down my people. Peace.